this is going to be a, a fun video. Uh, and when you study the uh, VG diagram, the velocity and uh, G loading of the airplane, uh, you may want to pay a little more attention. So let's get started. I'm going to do a takeoff. This is at a normal category airplane. On the right hand side you can see my speed. There's 100 gear up. Now I'm going to accelerate to 140 and I'm going to, there's 140, 142, boom. Alright, I saw a flock of birds. And I pulled back real hard. That was at 3.8 G's, okay? I busted the airframe G limit. All right, I understand that. The reason we call this the fun part of the video is because unless this airplane was overstressed in the past, the wing should not have separated. The FAA requires a factor of safety, which is an additional 1.5 load factor. We'll go into uh, Plane Maker. We'll go to Standards, Viewpoint, and now I'm going to tell it to do a 4.4 G, which is the utility category. So now I'll cancel out of this. I'll tell it to save that airplane. Now I'll come back to X-Plane. Now we have to reload X-Plane. We have to reload that particular airplane. Okay, so there we go. We got it back. Let's go over here. We'll bring the data display so we can read the speed again. And we'll do that 140. And let's see what happens now that we went from 3.8 to 4.4 uh, G loading. All right, here we go again. All right, let's get our chase view. We're going through 90, rotate. Oh, it was a fast rotation. Up 110, 112, 130, 140, boom. Okay, look what happened. Lessons learned. One, the stall saved the airplane from wing separation. Two, by watching the protractors, you can see that the stall takes place at the wing root on a straight wing airplane. And three, the pilot knew how to recover from the stall and push forward of the neutral with the yoke and recovered from the stall.